Hey you, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Yeah, I put up sewing videos and lifestyle content, just a little bit of everything, or I'm trying to incorporate a little bit of everything into the channel. So you are welcome to the channel. I hope you stick around. And um, yeah, it's past one, and I'm about to start making a dress. I'm gonna start the dress, the picture of the dress, um, somewhere on the screen so you guys can see what I'm about to make. And um, yeah, it's possible, but I'm going to make the dress anyways. So the fabric I have here is um, just this, I think it's called stretch lining, um, the stretch lining. And it's a two-way stretch fabric, so it stretches only this way, it doesn't stretch the other way. But the stretch of this is really good. And yeah, so I'm going to be using this, it's just something I have laying around. Um, something I use for my clients, what is left of what I use, so I'm going to be using this. And then the tool I want to use is this, and this is also a tool stretch tool, um, but the stretch of this isn't really, it's not really as much as the one on the other fabric, but I'm going to use this anyway to be surprised. So this is what I'll be using, so those two materials, and of course you need like your know, zipper, your thread, there's so much of course. So guys, I'm using my bodice pattern, and if you guys haven't seen um, the video where I make my bodice pattern, um, please go check it out. I'm going to link it up in the card, and also leave like the link in the description box, so please check it out. Um, I also have video on um, skirt pattern and seat pattern as well, and um, please you guys just check it out because um, I already made mention in my um, 2022 update video that I'll be I'll make these patterns and then when I go to make tutorials in the future, I'll build up on those patterns. So that's exactly what I'm doing um, today. So I'm going to take my bodice pattern and um, I'm not going to be using the skirt pattern for this. I'm just going to be using the bodice and then I'm going to um, drop down the skirt and the fabric itself. But I'm going to be using this for the top part. So um, please check out this video. And so you guys know. Um, just so you're not confused, right? So check out the video. So um, that's just, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to do, okay? So guys, I have my pattern here and I'm just going to do a little bit of adjusting to it. And yeah, so my chest is 7 inches from my eye point, from the highest point of my shoulder. So I'm just going to measure down 7 inches. Um, so I have it here. So I have seven inches here, right? So I have seven inches here. I, hope I should have done this um, without the fabric under it, but we milk, guys. We milk. So yeah, I marked my seven inches and um, seven inches, but just so that I am on the safer side, I think I'll go up by half of an inch, okay? So I'm just going to square out from that point. Um, so guys, if you have a ruler that has guidelines, you can just do this, restyle it, and be, you know, you'll be confident you have a straight line, right? But if you don't, just try to make sure that your lines, try to make sure your lines are straight. And I think I drew this on the wrong point. Uh, I said I was going to go by half of an inch so that is what I'm going to do so yeah that is half of an inch and then I'm going to fold it in so guys yeah on the dress it has a sleeve but I don't think I want to put in sleeve in this dress I'd rather do a spaghetti strap um, just because I don't think this fabric is going to be enough and um, especially the two because I'll be pleating that or I'll be gathering the two, right? So I don't think it's going to be enough for the dress itself and for the sleeve. So let's just go on. So I folded this in and I'm just going to place it right here. Um, pin it down. Um, so yeah, remember this is stretchy so like there's a lot of room for error. So today I'm not doing a voiceover and I think I'm liking this. I'm enjoying and talking as I walk. 
I don't know, maybe it's going to make the video um, longer. I guess it will, but um, I think I'm enjoying this. So now that this is done, I'm just being this side as well. So guys, for this dot, and this for this dot, we're ignoring this dot, and this um, room that we added here, we're ignoring this. But for this dot, I'm just going to take that whatever this is this is a one inch dot i'm just going to take in the side seam by one inch just because this is a stretchy fabric we don't really need a dot um it's going to form well to the body um to be well fitted so yeah so guys for the life of me i cannot find my um fabric chalk anywhere so i'm just going to freestyle this because guys it's past one in the middle of the night and i'm doing this i'm not about to you know go searching for fabric chalk and um yeah just because it's been a while i did this if you guys don't know if you're new here i just had a baby not just had a baby about two months um i think that was two days ago my baby was two months um she completed two months so yeah I, like i practically just had a baby anyway so that's the point i'm trying to make so guys you see what i did here So guys, you see what I did here? I just took in the one inch so you guys don't get confused. So I have one inch here. So I just took in that one inch on this part as well. So I'm just going to fold that in. And yeah. Guys, if you have patterns lying around, it just makes, it makes your work go faster. Um, it really does uh, because all you just have to do is to make adjustment here and there and like you're already cutting your fabric you don't have to pattern from scratch so yeah so i folded this in so this is my new um side seam so i'm just going to extend this now that i can't find my chalk i really do not know what to do and so for my waist to my feet is um in standard so standard is eight inches but my actual waist to hip is 8 inches, so I'm going to mark 8 inches here. And I'm just going to pull that again. Make sure your lines are straight. Um, it just, it helps to just eliminate errors. So guys, I hope you can see my so this is the line here so on this line i'm just going to put my hip measurement which is about um so my hip measurement divided by four is 8.5 so i'm gonna put in 8.5 yeah and mind you there's no allowance on this pattern neither will i add allowance to any of the measurements i'll be using just because this is a stretchy fabric and um you know you just you want it to be form fitting so adding allowance is just going to defeat that purpose because it's going to stretch so you do not want to add any allowance and i'm i'm not adding um sewing allowance either i'm going to take out my sewing allowance because i'll probably be using half of an inch or quarter of an inch um whatever the um measurement comes to after sewing is going to be fine because the material is stretchy okay so yeah i really don't want this video to be <laughs> too long but I'm not, I think it's going to be long guys. I think it's going to be long and I hope that you guys actually watch because no matter they fear me. So yeah, so this is my new hip and um, I'm going to take like the length I want. Um, so for my hip down, I think I want the, I want it to be about, let me see, 12. I would like like a three quarter down but i don't think this would be enough let me see what this gives me um let me move this up guys because my table isn't that big so, so yeah um so from this line i'm just gonna measure down like my so 
I'm just gonna extend my skirt to the length I want. So guys, on this line right here, I'm going to measure whatever is here. That's 8.5 minus um, 1.5 inches. So that is 7. And yeah, so I have my 7 here. And I'm just going to connect that to my hip. <laughs> guys, I'm actually using a candle. Um, I just cut a bit of a candle. I cut out a bit, a little bit from a candlestick to make my chalk. So, tip 101 tips and tricks of sewing. You can actually do this if you can't find your uh, fabric chalk. So, yeah, the only place I'll be adding my allowance is right here, just because you know I'm not trying to take away from the length, we are trying to take away from the width, not from the length. So, I'm just going to add half of an inch because I'll be adding in a lining that goes from the very top to somewhere um, below the underbust or just right at the underbust um, just so I can turn the neck and um, insert my spaghetti strap in so yeah so I have this here so that is all I'm just going to extend this and So yeah, I'm just going to cut this out and you guys will see. Okay. Yeah, this is fun talking to you guys and <laughs> making this tutorial. Like, I've never done it this way before. But it is fun. I'm enjoying doing this. Hmm. Yeah, we get yourself a sharp scissor so because this is just amazing. I've had it for about um i'm not sure but a couple of years um maybe two years now i guess maybe two years it's not here yeah, it has it has gone it's like it has lived its best life but the guy needs to retire man the scissors needs to go into retirement so guys i cut it out so you see um this is what i have uh let me just pull that up so you guys see the entire thing so this is my front lining and then I'm going to do the same for the back. So guys, for the back, but I want the, um, I call it neckline now. I want it to be lower than the front um, neckline. So I'm just going to fold this right um, here where the sleeve ends. I'm going to fold it right there. So this is what I have for the back. So I'm going to um, also place that on the fabric. So guys, I have my pattern here folded and pinned to my fabric. And what I did was place the front on the back. So I'll be using the front to cut the back from the waist down. And then I'm going to show you what next. So let me just cut this out. I forgot to remove this that. Guys, one o'clock in the night, so yeah, I'm going to remove the dart now and then uh, let me just take out the dart so it's just one inch as well. I'm just going to measure that. Okay, this dart isn't actually up to one inch, it's just um, three quarters of an inch. I'm going to take that out. guys like it's it's rumbling outside like it wants to rain um yeah so guys i folded this um by the body of my dad uh, so this is my new side seam so i'm just going to um Let's cut it out from here. So you guys see that the, the front, so this is the front. So you see that the front side seam is longer than the back. Um, see where the back stops, see where the front stops. Um, about 
one inch I guess but um, I'm going to stretch I'm gonna stretch the back um, seam from the waist to the top to meet up with the front just so it's equal so I have my front and back so what I want to do is to just cut out um, kind of like a facing just so I can turn the neck and also insert my spaghetti strap so I cut out um, just from the top to the waistline it's an interfacing that will let me turn the neck clean up the neckline and also insert my spaghetti strap so yeah you want to do this cut out your interfacing this is for the back and for the front i did the same thing i did the same thing i cut cut it out from the top to the waist um but my fabric wasn't enough to cut this on the fold so i'll be I'm stitching this at the middle but if your fabric is enough you don't have to separate this you just cut it on the fold like the um main piece is cut on the fold okay so yeah um so next what i want to do is to cut out my tool and i'm going to show you guys how to go about that okay so guys for the tool i already folded it um folded it once and then twice twice so Right now it's folded into four. So we have one, two, well, this is on the fold, um, three and four. So yeah, what you want to do is to just cut it straight. And um, the measurement you want to use is your widest measurement. So if it's your bust that is wider, that is the widest or your um, hip. So for me, my hip is the widest and um, a quarter of my hip measurement is 8.5. So you want to cut 8.5. I'm going to measure 8.5 from here. From the very head here and then i'm just going to cut 8.5 right here and cut it all the way down okay so guys all of this i'm just trying to manage this fabric because so i have it on this side and then i have it as well on this side i'm trying to manage this so it's, it's not up to 8.5 but you want to use your Highest, um, your wireless measurement, so yeah, let's just have you know, cutting this 8.5. 8.5. Uh, the length you want your length to be about um, three times your actual length. So, if you want the length of your gown to be let's say 10 inches, so you just multiply that by three. So, you want to cut the length of this rectangle piece of fabric at 30 inches. Hope you guys get what I'm saying. So, I'm just going to um, finish up cutting this and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. So guys, I have it here. I have this for the front and this for the back. So for the back, I already opened this into two. So I have four pieces. Um, one, two, one, two, three, and four. So you want four pieces. Um, that is the width of the quarter of your widest measurement for the back because the back is in two pieces i'm um, going to have a center back seam okay so yeah we'll be joining two of this into one so and um for the front you want um just two pieces on the fold uh so you see that this is on the fold here yeah? let me just put my hand in there this is on the fold and you have just two pieces on the fold right so you have it like this on the fold so yeah that is what you want to do 